my whole life growing up, my dad is my biggest hero. You know, he's 101st Airborne Division, combat veteran Vietnam. You know, as a kid, you don't really understand that. He was tough, man, growing up. He was hard. As hard as he was, he was always fair. The way I look at it now, I mean, we turned out all right, so I'm kind of, you know, kind of glad he did what he did. So growing up, it was just kind of me and dad at first. Field come along and, you know, it's one of those, being younger brother, he gets to do stuff way earlier than I ever got to. And it's just, it was a family ordeal. Dad gave us the range to venture out and do whatever we wanted. We hit that ramp down in Westport and just started going for miles. I'm not going to force them, hunt, fish, whatever. Introduce it to them. They like it, they like it. They don't, they don't, you know. They love it. When I was younger, the only thing I focused on was being the best duck and goose caller I could and having the most exciting hunts possible. And now, I'm more focused on making sure that my sons have those experiences. It's less selfish, I guess. You know, I want them to have the experiences that Clay and I had when we were young kids. You know, being a dad is, it's the greatest thing in the world. I can't wait for Cam to start hunting, but neither can my wife. My wife is an avid hunter. They say, you know, if you take your kids hunting, you won't be hunting for your kids. I believe that, I truly believe that. I see my boys playing with Clay's son, Cam, just picturing those kids hunting together, fishing together, taking that same boat out that Clay and I are in right now, and I can't wait for that. I guess I always want my dad to know is thanks for being the hard ass that he was growing up. Thanks for not letting us get away with anything that wasn't acceptable. Thanks for taking us hunting and fishing every chance you had and not thinking about yourself. They are very good thought. The way they instruct their, their sons, I'm proud of them. Guys, country. Here's to you.